So the personal experience with Hillel that, uh, that I remember the most actually was when I was in law school. Uh, I went to Stanford Law School, uh, and uh, I actually, when I was accepted to Stanford, uh, I grew up in Cleveland, I had gone to college in Northwestern, a great, college, great university, uh, but I had never been to Northern California. Um, so I packed up my beat up old Pontiac Le Mans in my mother's driveway in University Heights, Ohio, uh, on I think a Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, and started driving out uh, to San Francisco. And I pulled into Palo Alto on Friday evening, just before sunset, drove up Palm Drive. I'd never seen this place. It was unbelievably overwhelming, beautiful. I pulled up, I moved into my dorm, grabbed my suitcases, put it into the dorm, grabbed a shower, threw on a clean player of jeans, and started walking across campus. Sun is setting on Friday night. Uh, and I could hear singing in four-part harmony, L'chadodi, the beginning of the Kabbalat Shabbat uh, service, the service bringing in, uh, bringing in the Sabbath. I didn't know where it was. And I followed this singing until it got louder and louder, and I ended up at the door of the Stanford Hillel and walked in, and there was a room full of people uh, who were, uh, you know, who were davening uh, Kabbalat Shabbat uh, and who were welcoming uh, in the Sabbath together. Uh, and the rabbi stood up and greeted everybody. Uh, and I just felt at home immediately. And so all of my other experiences at Hillel were terrific, but I still remember hearing that singing, uh, walking across that campus and finding myself at the door of Hillel at Stanford.